when people think of cowboys, they don't necessarily picture a black cowboy or a black girl, cowgirl. We're, we're the ones who started it. We're the originators of it. We definitely get the double takes. We come dressed up. Our horses are, are even dressed up as well. So they, they double take with, oh my gosh, there are real black cowboys and cowgirls out there that are doing it just as big as a lot of the white cowboys and cowgirls are doing it. Because we're one of the oldest and coldest to do it. We're a legendary club. We have legendary members. If Pop Landers, one of our founders, is part of the Cowboy Hall of Fame. So if that doesn't get you off your rocker and raise your eyebrow and make you want to find out who we are as black cowboys and cowgirls down here at Circle L5, I don't know what will. We're called to, to elementary schools, to high schools, mostly to expose kids who are of color, our black and brown children, and to let them know that, hey, you're able to participate and do what we're doing as well. You gotta just get on and like talk to the horse, be calm with it, and let them know that like you're in control. It ain't as easy as you think it is. You gotta have balance for one. You gotta be strong for another. Cause you be up that weak body, you can get snatched right off. I'm just carrying on my papa legacy. He always wanted us to like ride with the club. He told us he wanted to see us going to trail rides and stuff together with the club. He'll be he'll be happy though that we're like getting involved with the club. He'll be very proud of us. imagery uh, that most people have when it comes down to cowboys and cowgirls is that it's more of a Caucasian hobby. It was one of those things that was considered a less desirable job for the Caucasian landowners, ranch owners, or whatever the case may be. Uh, getting out, getting dusty and dirty was not the most popular thing to do. So obviously when it came down to slavery, you needed someone out here to sort the cattle uh, to brand the cattle. That's where the black cowboy pretty much, black cowboy and black cowgirls pretty much got our start. During the struggle of segregation, we were, weren't allowed to participate in so many things. They got together saddled up, put on their uniforms and everything, and they went to participate. They were rejected. They were called names, cursed at, and a gun was pulled on them, and they were ordered to leave. And that was back when Black people, you know, we couldn't participate in anything. We couldn't participate in anything in Fort Worth, uh, the, the, the stock show or, or anything that was going on that whites were, whites were doing. Well, our, our founders were saying, hey, we have the ability to do the same things. And we're wanting, we have that same love and we're wanting to do those same things. So that's why they, one of the reasons why they created Circle L5. Nobody ever thought that we, that we could do it. And so when they see us doing what we're doing, they're like, you know, how are y'all doing that? Or, or when did y'all start doing that? I thought, you know, we've been doing this. We've been participating. We've been uh, uh, being able or having the ability to own horses and take care of horses just like anyone else has done.
I think it's frustrating when you know you have put all your hard earned sweat into it and everything and the things that you do and you just overlook. A lot of times you do all the basic and, and the hard work and, and it's never mentioned and the other get the credit for it. Be a black cowboy uh, riding with Circle L5, just the history of this club speaks for itself. To be able to come down here, the camaraderie, dealing with all my brothers and sisters that's uh, part of this organization, part of this club, looking at ways to get better, I mean, it's just, it's just a fun thing to do. This particular hobby, it teaches responsibility. It teaches, you know, caring. Uh, it teaches patience. A horse requires your attention, it requires your love, it requires your time, it requires, you know, work. The community kids are now bringing their parents over and say, hey, you know, I want to learn how, can I ride? You know, can I do this? But yes, we are one of the oldest black riding clubs, but we have more interest from uh, Hispanic people, white people. Um, of all different nationalities are, are coming out now. We're not only reaching out to our, to our black people, we're gonna always do that because that's who we are. Um, but we're, we're, we're definitely open for anyone who wants to come out. So it's not just black kids now, it's everybody.